Now, someone else that's been in the news a lot is Kate Middleton. Now, in the last show, I did a reading on uh, King Charles, her father-in-law, where he is both uh, the head of the royal family and is currently facing a lot of health issues, namely cancer. We all know about his cancer diagnosis. So I have gone through that, his chart, and ex- explained why he had cancer this year and the challenges that he is facing this year. So if you'd like to have a listen to that, then just go to my last show. Now his daughter-in-law, Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, is also out of action at the moment with uh, what we've heard was abdominal surgery, which led her to stay in hospital for a few weeks. And after that, we were told she was going to spend a few months recovering and it won't look like she'll be back to royal duties until after Easter, at least. So it, understandably, everyone's actually very concerned because we're not told what exactly the surgery is about and what the issue is. And also with a very long stay in hospital and recovery time. I mean, normally with an abdominal surgery, you'll be out of hospital in like a day, maybe a few days at most especially since it's normally keyhole surgery, but now she's had to stay in for a few weeks, which makes people think that there might have been some complications around the surgery and it's more complex than just a standard abdominal surgery. So heaps of speculation around what's really going on there. And especially because she's going, she's out of action. Her husband, Prince William, has also really cut back on his engagements as well, his royal engagements, to support her and look after their children, so to speak. I say so to speak because, look, uh, people with money and especially royalty as well, they have staff. They have nannies, they have cooks and so forth to look after the household even without them being ill even in the day-to-day, whereas uh, a common person, everyone else, even if someone is ill, things have to, have to, they still have to soldier on because no one can afford hired help. Uh, people can't afford hired help. So you have to rely on family and friends to do it, where they are in a very lucky position that they have all this help at their beck and call, so to speak. So, which means this speculation. So, the big thing about the royal family at the moment is they're really down on numbers with so many people out of action at the moment. But, yeah, big speculation as to what's really going on behind the scenes, we haven't really been told. And we can only know what we've been uh, told and what's been officially released. So, the other avenue for us is basically to have a look at their astrology charts to figure out what's going on. Now with Kate, having a look at her chart, she is born in 1982. Well, at least this is her publicly available information. She's born in 1982. She is a yin metal rooster on her year. Her month is January. So that's yin metal again, ox. And her day, the ninth is Yang Water Dragon. And her hour, born at, looks like 6.48. So she is a yin earth rooster on her hour. So those make up her four pillars. Now we look at the interactions between them, how they interact. And looking at a chart, she has a lot of support. So she would be seen as what, yeah, her parents would have seen her as the child that they were concentrating most of their efforts on. And as evident through when she was dating Prince William, she had all that support. And I guess her being, having married Prince William, it's really elevated her family to the, to an upper echelon rather than being middle class, which they did earn uh, quite a bit of money, her parents, doing uh, the company party pieces, I think. So they did have money, but they were really much uh, middle working, 
middle class working people. That's their origin. And now they're up to the scale of royalty and nobility. So, yeah, her parents, even though they had three children, her family would have been concentrating a lot on her. And looking at her chart, it's a chart of what we would call a Stifford wife. If anyone's seen that movie, The Stifford Wives, so are these perfect housewives, so to, so to speak. And it was later revealed that they're all like androids. <laughs> That's why we were so perfect. So as her chart, looking at it, it also basically belongs to her spouse. I mean, she's got everything. I mean, she's been supported, highly supported. She's got all that resource. So her chart is basically a resource chart, being highly supported. And though it all belongs to her spouse, her husband. Now, remember her... Spouse palace, her day master, is in water. But uh, what governs her spouse palace, which means her marriage and her love life, so to speak, is the dragon. And this year is the year of the dragon. And so you, she has two dragons in 2024. So what would that mean? Two husbands or com competition for her husband? Look, from a chart, there are things outside and there are things internal. And there's a lot of things that are going on behind closed doors that we are not privy to at all. So has Prince William been doing the dirty? Has he? Because, yeah, of this issue with her house of spouse at the moment. Though, you know, when the, the dog month comes, uh, comes around, that will be in October. That's when things will come out. I guess, possible leaks as to what's been happening, so to speak. And like, yes, she has been really ill this uh, this year, been in hospital, and we're told it's abdominal issues or abdominal surgery she has. And look, dragon year, it also penalizes each other. So, and it, it, the penalty is earth. So it's an earth health issue. Now in... Uh, Taoist astrology, the Batsa method, we deal a lot with elements. That's why this 2024 is called a Yang Earth Drag, oh, sorry, Yang Wood Dragon Year. So you've got the stem part, call it the stem being the element, and the branch being the zodiac animal. And with the elements, it all integrates, like in traditional Chinese medicine, also commonly known as TCM for short. They deal with a lot of elements in the body. And the earth element is basically the digestive tract, which means your intestines and your stomach areas. So when they, she said abdominal surgery, people were thinking, well, was it really digestive issues or it could, not, could have been reproductive issues because it's abdominal area, that sort of area? Well, the sex organs, reproductive and sex organs, they come under fire, a fire element. So and this is clearly having to do with an earth element. So it's not the reproductive system. It would be the digestive tract. Okay. So that's, yeah, so that confirms it. But how, this, how did this come about? Well, it really came about because it's something she's doing to herself. You know, like it might be diet, she ate something really bad for her, or she might have been on a very bad diet in order to keep her very slim figure after having three kids. You know, I saw her in one instance, you know, I think a, sh a, a scene or a, a, a shoot a, a, in a picture with Nicole Kidman. Now, we all know how thin Nicole Kidman is. But standing next to Kate, Nicole looked large. And I could not believe what I was seeing in this photo. <laughs> Kate Middleton made Nicole Kidman look big. <laughs> and I did not think that was, it was even possible, but she did. And it's amazing after three, having three cheats. And now that she's had issues with her abdominal area, I'm starting to think, you know what? She may have been on some very extreme diet. And then this is the consequence of that, being on this extreme diet. 
to keep their figure, Gay regaining her figure back after having three kids. You know, any woman that, out there that's had three kids, uh, how easy was it or how difficult was it to lose that weight and go back to your pre-pregnancy weight and figure? I doubt me, any women out there would say it was easy and very, very few would be able to go back to their pre-pregnancy figure before any kids at all. But it looks like this is what Kate's done. She looks exactly the same as what well, her figure does as what she did before, or ha before she had any kids. How is that possible? <laughs> and I guess, uh, well, now I kind of know it was possible because she was uh, doing bad things to herself to lose all the weight and go back and maintain that figure. So the issues might have been related to, I think, a large part to her diet and what she's done to herself. Or the other issue could have been is stress. Has, is there issues in the marriage or are there issues in the marriage at the moment? And that's why she's been so stressed out and that's what caused it, caused it aggravated an, an illness in her. I mean, look, if there's internal marriage issues, she can't let it be known, can she? She has to keep it up if she's unhappy. Look, if William has been doing the wild thing on the side, can she make an issue of it? She can only speak to him directly. But even, even having that, they might have a big role, big row and a big argument. And then where would that lead? And then people might hear and it would be leaked out that there are issues. And, you know, can she really divorce him? Or would she even want to divorce him no matter what he does at this stage? Because she's played a, per, a very good long game in meeting him and then being in a getting to be his girlfriend for so many years and then finally marrying and to become a future queen, queen in waiting, literally. And having a hair, an heir and two spares. So she's done a good job in that field. And so is she willing to walk away from all that? If William has been playing around. So she's in a quandary. In a way, yeah, we may see them as being so great and in love or so forth, seem to be such a happy couple, but that's only the outside that we see. We, do, we are not privy to what goes on in the background. So those are a lot of issues there. But however, look, regarding her health, it'll be over. This is, this is not a permanent thing. It'll be over in 2025. She'll be get over this. So in that respect, that part, we don't have to worry. It'll be over in 2025. Um, but this other issues, uh, marriage issues, it can be a different story if um, they might, she might decide to just look the other way, just take it, endure, look the other way and keep the status quo and continue. And if that happens, we won't know. But we might hear something about it in October when it's the dog month. As you know, dogs and dragons clash. If you don't already know that, they do clash. So if we're going to hear anything, it'll be in October. So as for Kate, yep, it is a temporary health issue. She will get over it next year. There'll be no issues next year. And I will, you know, we just hope that things are okay. Look, I when they did marry, I did do a forecast on their relationship as to the longevity of their marriage. And I did that and it was posted on my YouTube channel. And so you can go to my YouTube channel and have a look at that reading that I did for them all the way back then. <laughs> it's all time stamped, so you know that when I actually did it. So have a look if you're here for those that are curious. 